This is the reading for day 245 of the year 2022, and the date is September 2, 2022. I'm reading from the New Living Translation of the Chronological One-Year Reading Bible. Today's scripture is from 1 Chronicles. 1 Chronicles chapter 5, starting at verse 18, heading the tribes east of the Jordan. There were 44,760 capable warriors in the armies of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. They were all skilled in combat and armed with shields, swords, and bows. They waged war against the Hagrites, Jechurites, Nabushites, and the Nodabites. They cried out to God during the battle, and he answered the prayer because they trusted in him. So the Hagrites and all their allies were defeated. The plunder taken from the Hagrites included 50,000 camels, 250,000 sheep and goats, 2,000 donkeys, and 100,000 captives. Many of the Hagrites were killed in the battle because God was fighting against them. The people of Reuben, Gad, and Manasseh lived in their land until they were taken into exile. The half-tribe of Manasseh was very large and spread through the land from Bashan to Baal Hermon, Senior, and Mount Harmon. These were the leaders of their clans, Ephr, Ishi, Eliel, Azriel, Jeremiah, Hodavia, and Jadiel. These men had a great reputation as mighty warriors and leaders of their clans. But these tribes were unfaithful to the God of their ancestors. They worshipped the gods of the nations that God had destroyed. So the God of Israel caused King Paul of Assyria, also known as Tiglath-Pileser, to invade the land and take away the people of Reuben, Gad, and the half-tribe of Manasseh as captives. The Assyrians exiled them to Hala, Haber, Hara, and the Gozan River, where they remain to this day. First Chronicles chapter 6, verse 3. The children of Amron were Aaron, Moses, and Miriam. The sons of Aaron were Nadab, Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. First Chronicles chapter 6, verse 49, heading Aaron's descendants. Only Aaron and his descendants serve as priests. They presented the offerings on the altar of burnt offering and the altar of incense, and they performed all the other duties related to the most holy place. They made atonement for Israel by doing everything that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded them. 1 Chronicles chapter 6, verses 4 to 15. Eleazar was the father of Phineas. Phineas was the father of Abishua. Abishua was the father of Buki. Buki was the father of Uzi. Uzi was the father of Zeria. Zeria was the father of Mirareth. Mirareth was the father of Amaria. Amaria was the father of Ahidab. Ahidab was the father of Zadok. Zadok was the father of Ahimez. Ahimez was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Johanan. Johanan was the father of Azariah, the high priest at the temple built by Solomon in Jerusalem. Azariah was the father of Emeria. Emeria was the father of Ahidab. Ahidab was the father of Zadok. Zadok was the father of Shalom. Shalom was the father of Hilkiah. Hilkiah was the father of Azariah. Azariah was the father of Saria. Saria was the father of Jehozadak, who went into exile when the Lord sent the people of Judah to Jerusalem into captivity under Nebuchadnezzar. 1 Chronicles chapter 7, starting at verse 1, heading Descendants of Issachar. The four sons of Issachar were Tola, Pua, Jasha, and Shimrim. The sons of Tola were Azi, Rephaia, Jeriel, Yamei, Ibsam, and Shemuel. Each of them was a leader of an ancestral clan. At the time of King David, the total number of mighty warriors listed in the records of these clans was 22,600. The son of Azi was Israel. The sons of Israel were Michael, Obadiah, Joel, and Isaiah. These five became the leaders of clans. All of them had many wives and many sons, so the total number of men available 
for military service among their descendants was 36,000. The total number of mighty warriors from all the clans of the tribe of Issachar were 87,000. All of them were listed in the genealogical records. Heading, Descendants of Benjamin. Three of Benjamin's sons were Bela, Becker, and Jediel. The five sons of Bela were Esben, Azi, Uziel, Jerimoth, and Ayari. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. The total number of mighty warriors from these clans was 22,034, as listed in their genealogical records. The sons of Becker were Zemira, Joash, Elizer, Elioenai, Omri, Jermoth, Abijah, Anadhoth, and Elimith. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. The total number of mighty warriors and leaders from these clans was 20,200, as listed in the genealogical records. The son of Jediel was Bilhan. The sons of Bilhan were Jewash, Benjamin, Ehud, Kenanan, Zethan, Tarshish, and Ahizahar. Each of them was the leader of an ancestral clan. From these clans, the total number of mighty warriors ready for war was 17,200. The sons of Ayer were Shepham and Hapham. Hashem was the son of Aher, heading descendants of Naphtali. The sons of Naphtali were Yaziel, Gurni, Jezer, and Shilam. They were all descendants of Jacob's concubine, Bilha. Heading, descendants of Manasseh. The descendants of Manasseh, through his Aramean concubine, included Azrael. She also bore Machir, the father of Gilead. Machir found wives for Hapim and Shepham. Machir had a sister named Maka. One of his descendants was Zelophehad, who had only daughters. Machir's wife, Maka, gave birth to a son, whom she named Parish. His brother's name was Shurish. The sons of Parish were Ulam and Rakim. The son of Ulam was Bedan. All these were considered Gileadites, descendants of Machir, son of Manasseh. Machir's sister, Hemaloeth, gave birth to Ishtad, Abizer, and Bala. The sons of Shemida were Ahian, Shechem, Leki, and Aniam. Heading, descendants of Ephraim. The descendants of Ephraim were Shuala, Barad, Tahath, Elida, Tahath, Zadad, Zabed, Shudala, Ezer, and Eliad. These two were killed trying to steal livestock from the local farmers near Gath. Their father Ephraim mourned for them a long time, and his relatives came to comfort him. Afterward, Ephraim slept with his wife, and she became pregnant and gave birth to a son. Ephraim named him Beriah because of the tragedy his family had suffered. He had a daughter named Shira, and she built the towers of Lower and Upper Beth Huron and Uenz Shira. The descendants of Ephraim included Riva, Resheth, Tela, Tayan, Laden, Amihud, Elishama, Nun, and Joshua. The descendants of Ephraim lived in the territory that included Bethel and its surrounding towns to the south, Naran to the east, Gezer and its villages to the west, Shachem and its surrounding villages to the north, as far as Aya and its towns. Along the border of Manasseh were the towns of Bethshan, Tanakh, Megiddo, Dor, and their surrounding villages. The descendants of Joseph, son of Israel, lived in these towns. Heading. Descendants of Asher. The sons of Asher were Emma, Ishva, Ishvi, Beriah. They had a sister named Sira. The sons of Beriah were Heber, and Melchiel, the father of Berzeth. The sons of Heber were Jephlet, Shomer, 
and Hotham. They had a sister named Shua. The sons of Japhlet were Pesach, Bimhil, and Ashveth. The sons of Shomer were Ahi, Roga, Haba, and Aram. The sons of his brother Helam were Zopha, Imna, Shalash, and Amel. Sons of Zophath were Sua, Harnifer, Shuel, Bari, Imra, Bezer, Had, Shema, Shela, Ithrian, and Bera. The sons of Jether were Jephana, Pispa, and Ara. The sons of Ola were Era, Haniel, and Rezia. Each of these descendants of Asher were the head of an ancestral clan. They were all select men, mighty warriors, and outstanding leaders. The total number of men available for military service was 26,000, as listed in the genealogical records. Heading, Descendants of Benjamin. 1 Chronicles chapter 8, starting at verse 1. Benjamin's first son was Bela, the second was Ashbel, the third was Ahara, the fourth was Nohah, and the fifth was Rapheth. The sons of Bela were Adder, Gera, Abahud, Abishua, Naaman, Ahoah, Gera, Shepupan, and Hiram. The sons of Ahud, leaders of the clans living at Geba, were exiled to Manahath. Ahud's sons were Naaman, Ahijah, and Gera. Gera, who led them into exile, was the father of Ua and Ahihud. After Shaharim divorced his wives Hushim and Bera, he had children in the land of Moab. His wife, Hoash, gave birth to Jabad, Zibia, Mesha, Malcham, Jus, Sekia, and Merma. These sons all became the leaders of clans. Shehuram's wife, Hashem, had already given birth to Abitab and Elpal. The sons of Elpal were Eber and Mizham, Shemd, who built the towns of Ono and Lod and their nearby villages, Beriah and Shema. They were the leaders of the clans living in Ajalon, and they drove out the inhabitants of Gath. Ahio, Shashak, Jeremoth, Jebediah, Arad, Eder, Michael, Ishpa, and Johar were the sons of Beriah. Zebediah, Meshulam, Hiski, Heber, Ishmerai, Islia, Jabad were the sons of Elpal, Akim, Zikri, Zabdi, Elianai, Zilithai, Eliel, Adaiah, Berea, and Shimrath were the sons of Shima, Ishpan, Eber, Eliel, Abdon, Zikri, Hanan, Hananiah, Elam, Anthathijah, Iftaiah, and Penuel were the sons of Sheshach. Shemshariah, Shemshariah, Athaliah, Jershariah, Elijah, and Zikri were the sons of Jehoam. These are the leaders of the ancestral clans, and they were listed in the genealogical records, and they all lived in Jerusalem. That is the reading for day 245. God bless each and every one of you, and may God be with you until we meet again.